Hello and welcome back to Ruinark. This time we're going to be going into a snowy region where there is a clan of elves. And, uh, well, all of them are blessed with the exception of one lone evil elf. And we're going to be dealing with them as best we can. If you'd like to check out the game, there is a link in the description. Highly recommended if you're a fan of RimWorld at all and you want to reverse the scenario and you're instead trying to eliminate all of them, of course. So, hopefully, we're going to do all right here. Bear in mind that uh, the developers have also just released a hotfix very, very fast after the launch into early access and have fixed a number of things. They've also added V-Sync and, and stuff like that because there was a lot of screen tearing. I don't know whether you noticed that, but yeah, it's pretty nice that they have already fixed it. All right, so otherwise, let's see. I'm going to start it round about here. Why not? There we go. Let's configure our loadout. All right, so uh, this time around, I'm actually not sure if I should play with the Lich or not. It feels fun to me to maybe decide to do that because we might be able to create a zombie virus. However, you do have to bear in mind that there is only one villager in the level that can be afflicted by anything, I think. We'll see, um, but I think that that is indeed the case. So what we might try to do instead, we're gonna go for the eye. Uh, the defiler is gonna be quite useful as well, potentially, not entirely sure, we'll see. Trigger floor is not something I'm going to be using that much of. Destroying is pretty good. Seizing an object I think is probably the best that I will go for here, and otherwise, there we go. Let's start. All right, so what we want to do first is we want to build the eye, of course. The eye is perfect, it is a fantastic building to get. And let's see, okay, so the monsters are relatively close by. Where is the village? The village is, ooh, the village is far away. Okay, they're gonna have a big, big problem uh, dealing with us, I think, because if they want to attack us at any point, they're going to have to walk a very far distance. So it's not really going to work out too well for them. Now, there are 14 villagers here. 14 of them. And I don't know... Oh, oh wow. I apparently selected the only one that is not blessed. Yeah. Wow, that is actually kind of amazing. I just zeroed in on the one that is literally the evil one. All right. So let's have a look here. An available skeleton. Oh, look at that. Oh, interesting. Oh, okay. So I actually was unaware that you could do things like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so everyone else is blessed, as you can no doubt tell. So what you can do is you can poison things. So I am going to afflict this evil fellow with gluttony. And now that may seem like a really, really weird thing to afflict them with. But just bear with me here. Just bear with me. So we're going to just select this guy. And then we're just going to follow him around. That's pretty much it. Just going to follow. And we're going to see what happens. Okay. We're just going to see what happens. And what is actually going on here? We've got some flirting going on. Let's actually see about the relations here. Okay. Flirted with Ellen. That is, of course, perfectly fine. Because they are indeed married. And uh, what else do we have going on here? Yes, that is the wife, and that is the wife. Okay, I'm just making sure, you know. I'm just making sure that I'm not missing any juicy tidbits of information here. You never know. And uh, where is where is the... Uh... There is my evil one. Oh, this is a different... Oh, we've got two evil... Oh, okay, we have two evil elves. Oh, interesting. Okay, so that means that we might be able to go for vampirism here. Hmm... Or we could go for zombie virus. This virus will cause the villager to eventually die. Once dead, it will reanimate during the night time and may spread the virus to other villagers that it attacks. Hmm. Okay. Let's do zombie virus. Let's see how that goes. It will probably not work out too well. Um, but what we're otherwise going to do is I will try to find their dinner tables. We will poison their dinner table as much as we possibly can. Let's speed things up a little bit. Okay, so let me actually just take a quick look here. Okay, so... Oh, this guy is also not blessed? Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so I'm going to make him a vampire then. Oh, I actually thought that there were going to be a number of them that were blessed indeed. 
and that it was going to make things very, very difficult. But it seems like we do have a number of them. Okay. So let's have a look here. Who is my glutton? My glutton? Oh, oh weird, weird. Okay, I'm actually uh, kind of weirded out by this. Is it this one? No. This is the infected one. Okay, so this, this might be actually kind of interesting to follow. So let's just follow this and we'll see what happens. Oh, dead? Afflicted with vampire, uh, vampiric. Okay, yes, that's absolutely fine. Okay, so let's have a look at the relations of this one. No, they are, they are married. That's perfectly fine. Okay. And, uh, oh yeah, we also want to try and seize the food. So we're going to be seizing food and we will be placing the food all the way over here, basically. And bear in mind that seize object does have a cooldown and they do have a lot of food. There you go. We can use it again. And also, this is also using mana. And it is also increasing threat. And uh, that is going to eventually give me some problems. But if I can try to starve them out as much as possible, they're going to start acting very erratically indeed. Ah, it seems like he actually cured the illness. I'm actually not sure which illness that was. I, I assume that was... That was indeed the plague. So let me actually just take a quick look here. Yeah, I think that was indeed the plague. Okay, so that's good to know. And that means that I will instead poison this table here. And I will... Uh, I can't seize the villager as far as I'm aware. Can I? I'm not entirely sure. Let me actually just have a look. Yes, I can. Okay, I'm going to seize the villager. It's going to... Yeah, my threat is going up super, super fast, but we're going to turn her into a cultist. There we go. Let's try it out. Okay, Tandoron uh, knocked someone. Oh! Oh! Look at this! Oh! Oh! A, a whole bunch of people dying. A whole bunch of people dying right here. Look at this! Okay, Santania murdered uh, Tandoron. Uh, poisoned, knocked out Santhania. Oh, okay, okay. This is perfect. Okay, I'm... I have no idea what actually happened right here, but apparently something crazy went on. Uh, let's see what the intel says. Oh, okay, well, apparently nothing. Apparently the intel says nothing. Alright, so someone is already dead. A another person... Oh, yes, yes. Look at that. Successfully brainwashed. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Okay, so successfully brainwashed. Let's take them back to the village. Where is the village, by the way? Ah, there it is. Okay, so let's place them down there. And uh, yeah, I think I think we're pretty good. I think we're pretty good. Let's actually just do the tutorial here real quick. Click on any tile to go there. Okay, what about here? Oh, okay. Well, oh, that's good to know. Oh, okay, interesting. Okay, well... That's perfectly fine then. Right. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at the villagers then. Okay, so which ones can I still affect? Yeah, this guy. He's sleeping. He is a glutton. Okay, I want to leave him alone as much as I possibly can. And who else do we have here? The druid. Okay, the druid is... That's the glutton. Okay, good to know. And... There we go. Yes. Okay. Okay. Ah, aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. Okay, so we can now raise dead. Let's do it. Raise the dead. And now they're going to be attacking. Which is absolutely fine. Not a problem. Can I raise dead again? That would be hilarious. No, can't do that. Okay, so I can agitate. Oh, that's a mimic. Oh, okay. So a mimic actually caused some things to happen there. Uh, okay, well, that's good to know as well. Otherwise, I think I'm pretty happy with how things are going so far. So we can pretty much just leave them to their own devices, I think. And uh, what I will continue doing is taking... Oh, look at this. Reported the criminal act. Oh, interesting. But yes, what I am going to continue doing is I will take food. I will poison their, their tables. And I will continue stealing their food. 
Oh, it seems like we might have um, some weird things going on here. So it seems like this guy has transformed into an abomination. As you can see, he's actually getting he's actually getting killed right now, um, which is kind of weird, to be honest. I'm not entirely sure what even happened with that because it says he's a, he's a druid. But he's actually a monster right here, so it's kind of strange. Anyway, I'm just going to continue poisoning things here. That's basically what I've been doing. Also, um, <laughs> our cultist has attempted... Oh, look at that. Actually did kill someone. Look at that. Yeah, this guy got poisoned. Yeah, so basically the cultist has been poisoning people. I've also been poisoning things. And uh, apparently they're... Oh, look, look. Something else is going on here as well. Look at that. They're actually eating from the same table. That's probably not the best idea. My cultist will hopefully not get killed. Oh, no, never mind. Has been apprehended and indeed restrained. I have poisoned the well uh, too, so uh, hopefully that's going to work out quite nicely. I'm just continuing to steal their food. Anytime I can get some mana, I'm just literally taking their food away. And um, what I've also done is I've also moved some people's um, some people's objects over to somewhere else so that we can... Um, turn these things into uh, some problematic situations. Um, I am going to uh, continue stealing food and uh, hopefully my cultist... Oh, look at that. I can actually do something here. Okay, we're going to... Strolling. He's going to her home. He's going to sit down. Okay, he's on the outskirts. Let's do this one. There we go. Going to put a trap in the bed. Ooh, perfect. No one saw. No one saw them do that. Perfect, perfect. Very nice indeed. Okay, so otherwise, I'm going to poison this myself. Uh, my threat level actually went all the way up to 46, which is very problematic. If it gets to 100, as you can see, the characters will start attacking my uh, structures, which is definitely not something we want. Not at the moment, at least. Because you never know, I might be able to use some demons that you know to defend or something like the Sloth Demon, for example. Sloth Demon is for defense. Greed might actually be useful, but not just yet. As you can see, my villagers are dwindling right now. This guy actually just died from the booby trap, I think. I th Yes, yes, exactly. From the booby trap, as you can see right here. Yeah, look at that. That is absolutely perfect. Now, do bear in mind that because everyone is indeed blessed, with the exception of, I think, three people, it is much, much more difficult to get them in situations where they can well, affect the game in some way. So, being able to utilize a cultist, especially, is very, very important. And I'd highly recommend even maybe brainwashing every single person you can into cultists, because then you can basically just poison people, you know, booby trap and so on and so forth. And uh, that actually makes a huge difference it really does it makes a massive massive difference to how effective your people can be all right so we're going to booby trap someone else now let's do let's do this one and let's see where they end up going okay they're going over here yes 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 perfect perfect no one seeing no one seeing done perfect look at that that was great no one saw that we did that so oh yeah there we go perfect i think something happened did something happen no just spat on her grave uh she cried she saw yeah okay that's absolutely fine every every single time they cry we gain mana which is exactly what we want so anytime that happens we're gonna be all right uh this guy is using this okay that's kind of weird Ah, he, oh, he's actually the husband. Oh, interesting. Oh, okay. Yeah, we probably want to do something about that in, in a second as well. Um, as far as I'm aware, you can't actually raise dead anyone that is already in a grave, by the way. I think someone actually mentioned that in the comments that they'd like to see that. But as far as I'm aware, you can't do that. Um, as far as I can see right here, as you can see right here, I'm pressing this. doesn't work. So I assume... You can't do it if they are in the ground already. Uh, I think that you have to do it on an already, uh, a very, very recently deceased person. I think that is how that's going to work. 
At least I think so. Oh, okay. So there we go. Flirting. That's absolutely fine. Okay, so let's uh, let's booby trap someone else, shall we? How about this one? That's the husband. That might not work. Oh, he's he's sleeping. Someone's sleeping. Perfect. Okay, very nice indeed. Going to take food from the city center. That's absolutely fine. Our cultist needs to live. So being able to do that is great. And I'm otherwise going to poison the other vegetables. And what's going on here? Well, oh, look at this. Ah. Mm, mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Reduced. Okay. Reduced conflict, apparently. Reduced conflict by removing them from the situation. That is interesting. Um, but I think there seems to be something going on here. Yes. Look at that. They, they, uh, look, they were, in be they were being invited for some private times. Uh, okay, interesting. Otherwise, let's continue. Poisoning. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. That was, that was wonderful. That was absolutely wonderful right there. Very nicely done. Now let's see what else we can do here. Let's booby trap this person's objects. Oh, yeah. Oh, perfect. Very nice. Alasana is doing so much work for us right now. Let's see what happens if that person goes uh, to uh, to sleep. Then uh, they're going to have a very rude awakening indeed. Ah, c uh, corn crops. We need to we need to destroy these corn crops. Unfortunately, I I can't really do that that easily, as you can see. That is where the um, that what actually happened right here. He got rid of that. Did you see that? That's that, that was actually kind of that was actually kind of insane. I'm gonna poison the table right there. But uh, yeah. Anyway, um, if I had the uh, the the swarm, the uh, do I have that actually? No, I don't. Unfortunately, not. If I had that, that would be really nice. That would be super super nice. But unfortunately, I don't. Okay. So. Oh, that that that's actually really interesting. Did they? It seems like they actually uh, cured the table of the poison by the looks of things. So that is not really working out too well for us, is it? Okay, so let me see if I can find my cultist once again. She's still alive. Yes, she is. Okay, so we've only got a few people still remaining. Let's uh, let's try to let's try to command her to do some more poisoning here. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, she did it without being seen. Perfect. Okay, so now let's do let's do this one again. Let's see if we can do a trap on the tools while they're sleeping. Perfect. There you go. We did it. Okay, nice. And now she's going to eat the food. I'm, I'm not entirely sure if that food is still poisoned. It might be. If it is still poisoned, then that is going to be a bit problematic. But we still have some spells that I can potentially use. I do have poison spells and stuff like that. So if I do need to, then of course I can do that. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. And uh, let's try this one. There we go. Uh, 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 that, that, yeah, that did not really work out too well. Okay. Um, transform her into an abomination? I don't think that's really going to help. Run! Run! Ah, she was killed. Okay, she was killed, but that's okay because we just, we gained some mana, which I think is pretty decent. There are eight villagers remaining. I'm actually kind of surprised by that. Hmm. Right. Is there anything else I can do here? Anyone else can be afflicted by this. Actually, wait a minute. Let's have a look. Hmm. We can... I was hopeful that I might be able to report the death to someone. Uh, let's see. Are they actually good? Yeah, they're actually going to dig her up. Uh, well, not dig her up, but they're actually going to put her in a grave right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to raise her from the dead if I can. There we go. Let's raise her from the dead right now. There you go. And now she's going to run away. Go, 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 go. Yes. Perfect. That is perfect. Okay. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to place this object over here. We're going to take this manor as well. And then we're going to seize this... Oh, I can't seize the villager because he's actually... Okay, well, I, I took that at least, which is all that I really wanted to do. There we go. We're gaining more mana. Perfect. And let's summon a demon. 
Yes, get him. Get him, demon. Oh, he's doing so much damage. What? That guy does so much damage. What? That is so crazy. I'm I'm actually really surprised that he he did so much damage there. Let's raise... Oh, I can't raise dead. Oh, uh, yeah, of course. Can I? I don't think I can, actually. No, there we go. That guy's, that guy's dead. Um, I can poison the healing potion, but I can't raise him because, as you can see, he is blessed. So that obviously would prevent me from doing that. Now, let's use a spell. Let's use a poison cloud on this area right here. Let's poison everyone in this area. There we go. You can all run... Run into the poison. Take some... Take some... Whoa, look at this. The poison actually spread quite quite authentically. Very nice indeed. Okay. Let's do this. There you go. Poisoned and died. What? So powerful. So powerful. And, and now that one... Okay, wait a minute. Oh, wow. Buried her already. Okay, I can... Oh, I can actually raise her. Nice. Oh, look at that. I can actually raise her from the grave. So... There you go. It does actually work. Boom. Run, run, run. Run back. Run, my little skeleton. Yes. Perfect. Okay, so yeah, what we can do is we can actually get them to snatch people as well. Or at least I think we should. Yes, as you can see, we can actually get her to, to be snatched. This one is still alive, by the way. Um, so I'm, I'm wanting to afflict her with something. Maybe the zombie virus, maybe vampirism. I think the zombie virus would be the most fun. So let's see if we can actually make that work. It might not work with elves, because elves are very... Mm, shall we say... Uh, studious. They are very alert about what is happening in the area. So they might very well decide to... Uh, be a bit active in terms of... Um, you know, curing it. And that's not what we want, obviously. I'm going to move that berry bush over there. These guys are sleeping in a troll cave. That is probably not the best idea. I'm actually going to summon a greed demon right next to them. Belial, hilariously enough. Murder. Murder, yes. Oh, you died? Are you serious? You imbecile. I don't know how, how that happened. Okay, let's just do poison. And uh, hopefully get them poisoned. As much as we possibly can. There we go. Nice. Is she dead? She, yes, suddenly died due to an unknown reason. Perfect. Okay, here we go. Please don't bury her too deep. <laughs> uh, uh, that would be pretty bad. Oh, uh, she did bury her. Okay, so I'm not sure if the zombie plague is actually going to um, resurrect her now or not. Um, it would be cool if it did. Um, but I, I, I don't know whether that will work. So we'll see, I suppose. I have 46 mana. Guess I'm just going to do this. Get them poisoned as best I can. Ah. Uh, yeah, there we go. Got them. One is, one, one is dead. And then we've got a whole bunch of other ones as well that we have to deal with too. But um, is this actually... Wait a minute. Relations? Uh-huh, yeah, yeah. Seems like they are very faithful indeed. We do not have the, the, the affliction unfaithful as it is anyway, so that's obviously not really going to help us out too much. Now, let's have a look here. Do we have any skeletons at all that can... Yeah, we do have two skeletons, as you can see. And I'm not entirely sure what I can do with those, to be honest. Um, because as far as I'm aware, you can only use them to snatch people. And I suppose you can use skeletons to snatch people if you don't have the seize skill. Um, because obviously I do have the seize skill. So don't really need it um, as a result. So I'm just going to seize this healing potion right here. And we're going to do a poison cloud in this area. Okay, there we go. Are they actually taking damage from this at all, by the way? Because it feels to me like they don't even take damage, which is really insane. So we might need to... Wait a minute. Where, 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 where's, she, where's she going? Where's she going? You know what? It's going to take food from the city center. Ah, this food right here, you say. Okay. Poison it. Yes. Yes. Take the poison food. Take it. Okay, uh, where, where's this guy going? He 
He's strolling around. Not really doing much going to the home. Okay, so how, how is it actually going? It seems like they're, they're not actually getting poisoned, which is interesting, to say the least. I'm not entirely sure why they would not get poisoned at this point. Okay, so let's poison them again. There we go. Okay, so they're running away. Are they really sleeping in a poison cloud? Okay, so I'm going to seize the bed. There we go. Take that. All right, so I'm trying to use Blizzard here. Okay, so basically, I have found out that a number of these um, a number of these villagers are actually robust, and as a result, they have immunity to a number of illnesses. In other words, even if they were not blessed, it would probably be impossible to get them into a poisoned state or any other kind of state. That is. So basically, what I've done is, as you can see, I have poisoned the corn crop that doesn't seem to really be making that much difference unfortunately so i'm actually just going to steal their bed going to take the bed over here basically what i've been doing is literally just that just stealing people's beds and uh oh, oh look there who's that guy that's oh, one of my skeletons oh that's it that's interesting okay so yeah anyway um what i've also been doing is trying to find as many um, monsters as as I can so any monster that I can find I will try to uh, put that into the village unfortunately that doesn't seem to really be working at the moment so I'm not entirely sure why but you know I'm trying my best I'm trying my best so let's see uh, we'll drain fullness from a nearby person there we go that's perfectly fine now I will be <sighs> I guess I could poison the table now, that's the thing. I don't think that this person can actually... Oh, never mind. Okay, yes, they, they can indeed be poisoned. Okay, fantastic. That is actually very good. Um, I think that Ellen is going to be the most difficult to deal with. Uh, I think that in general... Uh, wait a minute. She's going to eat. Where is she going to eat? Oh, over here. Can I poison this table? Yes, I can. Dead. Nice. Oh, okay. We got him as well. Okay. Nice, nice. Okay, so what's going to happen now? Okay, so Ellen is, is by herself. She is the only one alive. She's going to take food from the city center. Okay, well, I will not allow that. I will take this and put it in here. And if she goes in here... Um, oh, she is actually going in there. Oh my, that is actually hilarious. I am extremely surprised about that. Okay, so I'm going to just seize it again. And we will place it in... Here. I don't know what this, this monster is. It's a worm. Okay, that's going to be kind of interesting. If she goes in there to get food, then that is going to be interesting. Okay, so... Yeah, she is now the settlement ruler, of course, because she is the only one alive. Let's see what she's capable of doing. Okay, so she's going to harvest some corn. Technically, what I could do is I could poison this, which might do something. I don't know whether she can actually die from po... Oh. She can actually die from poison. I'm very surprised about that. I had been attempting to poison her for the whole time, and she was extremely resistant. But there we have it. Actually completed one of the other levels. And now here we go. This is a two-region scenario for our undead-loving overlords. There is a huge, strongly defended human town in one region, while the other region is a haunted desert full of elven tombstones, skeletons, and ghosts. It might require a large undead horde to breach the human town's defenses. Ooh, now that's going to be super fun to see. All right, well, that's going to be it for this episode. If you'd like to check out the game, there's a link in the description. Otherwise, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.